start of the Renegade race is incredible because the emotions you have is not just uh, on, lying on you, you know, but you have the background, you have uh, your teammates and uh, your team. The start of Le Mans 24 hours especially is something uh, unbelievable. The, the feeling that you have is something great because when the grandstands are full there are more than 100,000 people watching and uh, you, you stand in line before and you listen to the national French anthem and then uh, there's this kind of surreal uh, silence before the start when you are at your place waiting for the for the flag to wave and uh, you start running to your bike this kind of strange silence with no, nobody talking and uh, it's just you that you have to run fast as possible to your bike switch it on and start the race At the Le Mans start, the, the bikes are located in front of the riders on the other side of the street, which means the rider have to run from one side to the other, jump on the bike, start the bike and start the race.
was going pretty well. Um, first uh, car catched up to uh, Seat for over 10 seconds and myself for, for some seconds. So we were like 20 seconds behind them. And uh, yeah, we were like really positive because we knew the night uh, nighttime would be good for, for us three riders because we uh, the tires worked well and we three riders were really fast. and. So we were like really positive and motivated and uh, it's always great when you catch up to uh, to someone in front of you and then suddenly I had on the straight on full throttle I had like a big noise in the engine and after the bike uh, felt like a tractor so it was like really slow and no power and I just could go back to the pit and I knew something broke because it was a big noise.
the mechanics tried to repair the engine, but uh, at the end wasn't wasn't possible. I think uh, was too many parts in the in the engine, so yeah, it was a pity.